welcome! Today we're going to be having a look at how to house your ball python in a tub. I do understand that a lot of you guys want to house your snakes in a terrarium the moment you get them home, and I'm totally on board with that. Noel, my blue-eyed leucistic, when I got him as a hatchling, I actually did house him in a terrarium. So he's grown up in a terrarium and he's not used to a tub setup. The reason why I've been using a tub setup for my three other ball python is because that it really does help me out a lot. When I house them in a tub, I am pretty sure that most of all the humidity is correct because these tubs really do help on keeping the humidity. They have everything they need. They have water, warmth, a hide. They're perfectly fine. They shed and they eat and it's just a joy to watch them grow. As soon as these three guys grow bigger, I will of course transfer them into a terrarium because I really do like to see my snakes in a terrarium. But for now, the tub is perfect for these guys. It really does create a lot of safety for them they feel completely safe inside this uh, small area and as they're used to in the wild these guys they do live underground in small hollows and they stay in those hollows their entire life so this tub setup really does make me capable of making the perfect home for them for now but enough chit chat guys let's get on with it let's see how I house my ball python in a tub Alright guys, so this is the setup for two of my ball pythons. You may have seen it before. On the left over here we have Aria, she's my coral glow ball python. And on the right here you may have spotted her, that's Asti, she's my champagne. These two boxes are completely identical inside. So let's take out Asti and let's have a look at how that is set up. Hey pretty girl. Alright, down here we have Asti. Hey pretty girl, she's very very curious, she's always out looking, but she's eating and shedding and pooping like a champion. Oh and look she made a poop right there. Well that's perfect, because what I had in mind is that we take everything out and then we simply build up this entire setup from the beginning. So let's do that. Alright guys, so this is the box that we start off with. This is just a normal plastic box. You can buy them in pretty much uh, any store or in an Ikea or something like that. You can use them for pretty much anything. They have nothing specific to do with reptiles, but they are pretty pretty good for housing hatchlings. I also have my Borneo python in one of these. And the reason why is because they really do create this safe small environment that a lot of hatchlings really really need. And they also keep the humidity quite quite well. Alright so let's start off. This box has no holes in it whatsoever. You can do that, you can actually drill some holes on the side if you prefer that. But what I did, let's see here, what I did is this. I drilled the holes in the lid and as you can see there are so many holes so I'm pretty pretty sure that air gets through just as it should. The way we did this was that we used a power drill uh, a good tip from here is to first drill a small hole and then <laughs> drill a big hole. Because if you just drill a big big hole from the beginning you are in the risk of the entire thing cracking. So yeah, lots and lots of holes means lots and lots of air gets through. Alright, so this is the basic here. It's a little bit dirty so let's just clean it. Good, clean box. The next thing we're going to do is decide what kind of substrate we want to use. For these plastic boxes, I can recommend newspapers. I use newspapers for pretty much uh, every one of my snakes except for Queenie and my emerald tree boa. You can use something different, you don't have to use newspapers. The reason why I'm using them is because they're very efficient. They don't really cost anything, we get them in the mail for free. They're very easy to change and the snake doesn't mind at all. Alright, so let's get some newspaper in. Pretty, pretty, pretty easy. Does not look pretty, doesn't have to. Snake really, really doesn't care, but it's very efficient. The next thing we're gonna put in is this hide. This is a hide I bought at the Ham Expo. They are pretty, pretty effective. Make sure that it's completely dark the way the ball pythons really, really like it. I put this in one end. Now some of you guys... Ew, I just touched the boob! Ew, 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 ew! Alright guys, please don't think of me as being very, very squeamish. I just really don't like poo. Anyway, 
where were we back on track all right then that was the height i was talking about this the height this height is really really good it gives them complete darkness and they feel very very safe inside this so this is very very good and this is what we like we would very much like to have our ball pythons feeling safe now you guys may be telling me wait wait justice didn't you just tell us that you were supposed to get two hides one for each side so they can get a cold side and they can get a warm side and you're absolutely correct because you guys are just amazing yes you really have to do that but the reason why i am doing this is because they're still hatchlings they're still small and i also have this this is a heat cable i think that's what you call it. this uh, produces heat and when i put it in i just put it in one side so the ball pythons will still be able to move from one side to the other regulating the temperature no worries about that the most important the important thing really is to have a look at how is your ball python doing, is it healthy, is it eating, is it shedding, is it pooping, if it does all of these three things then you're pretty much on the right track. Let's do a checkup. We have the box that we need for the ball python, we have the lid with the holes in it so air gets through. We have the substrate, which in this case is newspapers, and we have the hide with a warm end and a cold end, so the ball python has somewhere to feel safe, has somewhere to feel warm, and has somewhere to feel colder. Now, the last thing that we really do need is our water ball, and I've chosen this. This ball has absolutely nothing to do with reptiles. <laughs> As I said before, it doesn't have to be a reptile-related item for you to use it. You can be as imaginative as you like. If it works, it works. So let's fill that one up with water. Perfect. All right, so we have the hide and the water dish, the substrate, the box and the lid. Now all we need is pretty much the snake, so let's get one of those. This is little Asti, she's my champagne, I got her at the Ham Expo. She's only a couple of months old, but this girl really does have an attitude. And she's so curious as you can see. I know that some of you guys may be asking if this setup isn't too small, you know, isn't it too small and why doesn't she have any plants and anything or why doesn't it look like it does in nature and the reason why it doesn't look like it does in nature is because the snake pretty much don't care. Uh, the snake is a reptile, it's not an interior decorator, doesn't matter as long as she can get what she needs, which is warmth, a hide, water and food, of course, then she will be perfectly happy. I have to say that I'm not going to use these tubs for their entire life. It is my plan to get them into a terrarium once they're bigger. But right now, this tub, as I said before, it really does help me to ensure that they get the perfect start on life, which means that they can eat in peace and that they can feel safe and that's really really what hatchlings need of course it is possible for you to raise them in a terrarium as hatchling i've done that with noel as well and he's really turned out fine i think but this really really does give both me uh, and the snake a, a big hand it's really very very easy for the both of us oh come back come back no no no, no don't go away don't go away come on here <laughs> you really have to keep an eye out for this girl all right so we have everything we need and we have the snake in the box as well. Let's close this lid. And then we need to arrange these heat cables. Now she gets the warmth in one side and the heat cable also goes underneath the water which means that it will help the water vaporize which will also help on the humidity. So that's just an extra tip. All right. There we are. Perfect. Well done, Asti. Well done. 
All right, guys, that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed this little video on how to house your ball python in a tub. If you have any comments or questions, just write them right down below in the comment section. I love to hear what you guys have to say. Please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me. And while you're at it, just hit subscribe on that channel. If you have the opportunity, I would much appreciate if you would support me on Patreon. It really does help me out a lot. As usual, you can find me on Instagram under the name Jesus Jungle. Thank you guys for now and bye bye. Bye.